bad luck, Phil, you'll owe me a beer tomorrow. Brunswick by a small margin. The Brunswick's going to meet tomorrow. I wish them good luck to them. Brunswick! Come on, Brunswick! Going to win tomorrow. I think the power six goals are going to beat tomorrow. For sure. Well, I'm just my best mate, mate. Brunswick, yeah, all right, Brunswick, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm from Brunswick. Yeah, I love Brunswick to anyone. 250, I can't have a What about Brunswick and Cobra? Brunswick win because everything on special. <laughs> Everything's on special in Brunswick today. Well, there's a divergence of opinion between the Brunswick and Coburg markets yesterday, but they were all together in Sydney Road today against the proposed light rail proposal. This afternoon, they're back at one another's throats. It's the Sydney Road derby between Coburg and Brunswick. And looking at the positions on the ladder, you'll see Coburg reigning premiers up there on top, Brunswick in fourth, but first to fourth all undefeated Brunswick having the bye last week well it's a very special day for the Brunswick vice captain Neil Connell wearing number 12 this afternoon was accorded the club's top honor or his top honor in football in being named vice captain this season he's playing his 50th game this afternoon well uh, the coach of the uh, Brunswick side the black and white magpies the wicks as they're affectionately known is Stephen Parsons and I asked him if having a week off prior to the big game had done the wicks any good I suppose Peter Tom will tell there uh, notoriously sometimes when you have had a buy you do take a little bit of time to get into it where we can't afford to do that against Coburg we've got to be on our, on our job right from the start but I think we're fairly uh, adaptable to that there's a great expectation around the ground today that this is going to be the biggest game of the season. Putting a bit more pressure on you? It is a bit. I probably haven't been this toey since I was playing a few years ago, so it's, uh, all the players feel the same. So, yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a bit of a buzz around. And there's a prime mover for the Coburg side who turns defence into attack. He won the Liston Trophy last year. Gary Sheldon plays his 100th game this afternoon for the Coburg Lions. And what a distinguished career he's had in the VFA. Well, uh, Coach Parsons admitted to being a little bit toey there. I wonder how his opposite number, Phil Cleary, is feeling prior to the big game. Certainly, Peter. It's uh, very tense at the moment. There's a lot of atmosphere, and so it should be because we regard it as a very important game. You beat Brunswick quite convincingly both times last year, but it's a different Brunswick you face today. You were beating them five out of the six. Our record's good, but playing them here, they tend to play well, and they've built up the side, added a few big names, and uh, so we regard them as a real threat. Well, the chief number cruncher amongst uh, VFA coaches is Sam Kekovic. He's survived a palace coup this week. <laughs> Sam, we won't talk about Campbell for the moment, but this big game has got everybody talking. Well, it's going to be a tremendous game. It's a game we've been waiting for for a while. You heard the respective coaches mention the fact their players are tense, and I think you'll mm -hmm. agree that even we feel a bit toey here today, and it's going to be a wonderful game. When you look at the respective sides, they've both got uh, in form full forwards in Wright and uh, Griffiths. Sorry, in Williams and uh, Griffiths, who've kicked 43 and 30 goals respectively. Brunswick have obviously recruited extensively over the pre-season, although it's unfortunate that Wow Jones will be missing, although Harms will be in the side, and that will be a tremendous battle with Angwin on the half-back flank. The centre-line battles between Bartolo and Langham will also have a great bearing on the game, but all in all, it's going to be a tremendous battle, Peter. Let's go down to Ross Booth at the boundary line. Thanks, Peter. Well, there was an air of excitement and enthusiasm and confidence in the Brunswick room and there. Pre-match pre warm-up taken by Ray Royden up at that Bacchus Marsh Commando training camp where Tony Lockett was there earlier this week. I think we might see a pretty fiery opening. OK, Roscoe, umpires this afternoon, Graham Fallot and Karim Khan for the big one. And we certainly won't be mistaking the siren this afternoon here at the Gillen Oval, a distinctive one. And what a game we're in for. Coburg are going from left to right, but it's Brunswick who get us into attack first. And there's Herbert who's taken the mark on the half-forward flank. There's Herbert, kicked 16 goals this season. and there's